Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Blender interface, what are the different parts and so on. So let's get started. So as soon as you start Blender, you are going to be greeted with a splash screen, which contains a special image for this release of Blender. On the corner over here, you can see the version of Blender is mentioned and some common links that you can directly use from here to start working with Blender. One is generic, that's the usual 3D development environment, 2D animation, scripting, VFX, video editing and so on. You can open some existing file from here. Your recent files are shown over here. Some links to release notes and a link where you can donate for the development fund. So this is your splash screen. To come out of the splash screen, you can simply press escape or click anywhere in this area. Now, once your blender has started, you will come to see hundreds of things around you. Fine. And also this color combination that is used, which is grayish, dark grayish, uh, makes the interface look very scary. After looking at so many things around here, it definitely becomes overwhelming. But the point is not to worry about all these things. To start learning Blender, you don't need to know each and every part of this. And uh, we are going to get to the different sections as and when required. And we will be discussing some of them with a certain perspective or point of view. Then it makes it much more easier to understand and evaluate that particular part. Now before we proceed, I'm going to show you a screenshot which roughly breaks out these sections. So here what I have is a screenshot of my Blender 3D where you can see we have a top bar over here which I have put in yellow color that has certain menus. Then in the orange boundary R test 2 is our 3D view area. This is where usually you are going to work with your 3D model and play around with the 3D objects. Third is outliner. Fourth section is the properties area over here. Fine. If I move this a bit. So you can see this is the properties area, different properties, settings and other things. And fifth one that you can see here is the timeline part. Fine. This is something to do with while you are creating animations at all. You can play around with that. So this is the basic parts of our Blender interface. Let's just review it. This is the top bar. Obviously, this is the title bar which comes from Almost all applications have their own title bar, standard thing. This is the top bar which contains a lot of menus, some standard menus and specific menus and some other things. This is our 3D view area. It contains our 3D working area where we'll be working with our models. Fine. Some more menus relating to the 3D view area and other options relating to the 3D view area, its tools and so on. Then we have this timeline something to do with animation part this is our outliner if you roughly see it shows three items which represents these things so a rough list of our items i'm going to discuss this also later on and this is properties area where we are going to have the properties of the different settings relating to our 3d environment objects cameras and so on so we are going to look at few things from this in the next part so these are the basic parts of our 3d window default when blender opens up the sections which we will get to see so further we'll be discussing about these sections one by one 